Stanford University. The autonomic system is the part of the brain that changes when you get excited or when you're happy or when you're sad. We want to measure the autonomic activity in the context of video game play. You can measure this directly from the brain or you can do what we are doing which is sensing peripheral signals. So the autonomic system also affects your heart rate, your skin temperature, your respiration rate. So we want to tell if the person playing a video game is excited, are they enjoying it, are they engaged in the game, are they happy. This is a modified Xbox controller, but we've taken the bottom part out of a regular Xbox controller and put in various physiological sensors. So what we have here is we have a photoplasmogram measurement. We can get the pulse from the optical measurement, as well as we have four electric plates on the side. And from that, we can calculate the electrical beat of the heart, as well as the respiration rate. So what you see on the screen here is the bio signals coming directly out of the video game controller. So on the top here, we have the photo-based pulse measurement. And on the second line, it's the respiration rate. So that shows how much air is going into the player's lungs or out of the lungs. The third line is the accelerometer, so we can tell how much the player's hands are moving. On the fourth line, what we try to do is correlate this with the game activity. So this is a measurement we have of the video in the game. Eventually, we want to figure out a way to sense how the player is feeling about the game and then control the game. One example would be if the player wants to be maximally engaged, like they want to play a really exciting game, then what we can do is sense when they get bored. So say if their heart rate goes down or the respiration rate goes down, then we can say send in more zombies in the game. Or a lot of parents are concerned that their children are getting too involved in the game or too excited, and in the same way we can sense how they're feeling and tune it down for them. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.